I recently did a poll on my YouTube channel and I got an overwhelming amount of responses and votes from you guys and I asked you guys is California still a nice place to live which is also the title of this video and the majority of you said no it was 73% said no 27% of you said yes so obviously there's a pretty strong opinion that California is not such a nice place to live anymore and the reason I wanted to make this video today is because this topic is actually personal to me and I thought it would be something interesting to explore and I wanted to make an additional video on top of all my regular real estate content and cover something a little outside of real estate and focus on more like general living and lifestyle dilemmas and that's what this video is going to be today so I'm shooting this one today out at the beach because that brings me right to my very first point because Part of the reason I live here in Miami, guys, is because I love the beach. You know, I moved down here 14 years ago, and if it wasn't for this beach right behind me, I wouldn't live here. That's the truth, because I don't see the point in living somewhere 20 miles inland in Florida and then driving to the beach, because it's already hard enough to get here. Life gets in the way, and uh, you know, if you're not right on the beach, especially for me, I would probably never come just because it's too much of a hassle to get here so I figured it'd be appropriate to shoot this video out here today and when I think of California I also think of the beach as well so it's just fitting before I get into it I want to show you guys something very interesting here look at how much sand they have to bring in to do the beach restoration here it is a tremendous amount of sand guys I don't know if the video really does it justice but it is a lot and you can see how much they're raising the beach up and pushing the sand out just by looking at the sheer volume of it here and I'm gonna go over here and walk up here a little bit so you guys can really see the difference because it's pretty crazy and you can see me here this mound of sand is taller than me and this is about as much as we get here in Florida as when it, when it comes to mountains now you can see coming up here just how much wider the beach is now that they brought all this sand out here versus behind me here where the beach is disappearing. It's pretty striking the contrast. Now I'm going to use a bunch of the comments that you guys put down below this poll to base the discussion of this video on and before we get into those I want to just give a quick overview of why I'm making this video and why it's personal to me. So ever since I was a teenager, we're talking like probably 14, 15 years old, I wanted to move to California. And I tried to when I was younger, in fact, before I even moved to Miami. Um, when I was 19 years old, I took a trip out to San Diego by myself and I tried to get a job with the post office there. And long story short, I never got the job, but it was my first trip ever to California and ever since then I always loved the place and since that trip I've been back to California several times throughout my life uh, my most recently being last year in 2021 I've collectively spent about five to six months there throughout all the times that I've been there so I have spent quite a bit of time in the state and in different areas but you know now that I've been living in Florida for 14 years um, it's been a long enough time for me to be here that it makes me start to wonder if I want to spend the rest of my life here because I've always wanted to live over there. And just to be clear, where I have in mind of where I would live if I moved to California, guys, out of everywhere I've been there, my favorite part of California is Marin County, okay? I like that area just north of San Francisco because I just love the weather, all right? The weather there is the best that you can possibly have, in my opinion, for my taste. You know, I like the cool summers when it's 65 degrees every day, sunshine, you know, sometimes it's colder than that if it's cloudy. Sometimes they get warm beach days, but the weather is perfect for me because after spending all this time down here in Florida, uh, I realized that I don't care for the heat and I've kind of always known that 
ever since I was a little kid. When I used to come here on vacations with my family, um, when I was coming here like Disney World and stuff, coming down here to visit my grandparents, things like that, I never liked the how hot it was here in Florida. And fast forward to today, I still don't. But I still figured that it would be better to be here and put up with the summers here and have a better quality of life than stay in Illinois. And I still don't regret that decision. I do think that's still true. However, I've come to realize that I personally like more mild weather, not so hot, somewhere in the middle, you know? That 60 and 70 degree range, even in the 50s, is good for me as long as there's sun and it's beautiful out, which most of the time it is up in that area. So I wanted to just get that out of the way first because when a lot of people think of California, right away people think about Southern California and you know living in LA with the crazy mess that's going on down there with you know the congestion and all of that. And just, just for the record guys, even though I love Marin County, I am not a big fan of San Francisco even though it's right next door. And one of the reasons that I would be very scared to move to California, to be quite honest with you guys, is because of all of the crazy policies that were in place during the pandemic. And I was actually there to see it firsthand last year. And I would be very worried about being subject to that on a daily basis. And the good thing that was also the case about Marin County is once you got past the Golden Gate Bridge there, uh, all the policies were much more relaxed. Like in San Francisco, they had it where, you know, you couldn't go anywhere without wearing a mask. And I mean nowhere. Plus, you know, you couldn't eat at any restaurants or go into any stores, nothing like that without showing a vaccine card. And I just think that's horrible. Obviously, we never had that issue here in Florida, thank God. And that's one thing I've always loved about being here is the freedom that we have in Florida. So that would be one of the toughest things to leave if I were to ever leave is leaving behind the freedom and leaving behind this beautiful beach because these are some of the greatest things about Florida if you ask me. And sometimes when I think about it, it's like, do I really want to give up my entire life here just for more favorable weather? It sounds pretty crazy. But people do it every day. I did it when I moved here 14 years ago. I moved here for better weather and quality of life. And people do it all the time. They move here from other states, you know, because they want to live in a warmer place and they want to be like by the beach like me. But now that I've lived here for 14 years, I'm kind of like past it, right? Like I love living on the beach still. It's great to be out here, but I don't come here every day. And sometimes people do. And obviously when I first lived here, when I first moved here, I would come out here every day, pretty much every day, because it's something new, right? So it's almost like you start to take it for granted after a while, but I don't wanna say that I take it for granted. I'm more saying that my interests have evolved to where I like doing other things too, not just spending time at the beach all day. Now I kinda get bored if I was just to come out here all day and sit here. Not to mention you're frying, especially in the summertime like this. So I love winter at the beach much more than summer this time of year. Now I want to go over some of the things that you guys told me about living in California and some of it's good and some of it's bad. And I agree with all of this stuff, which is what makes thinking about this and deciding something like this so difficult. So Sandy says that she's originally from Illinois, just like me. And she lived in California for several years. The weather's so beautiful. Uh, she also loves that there's so many different types of people and lifestyles, so many amazing restaurants. You can go to the ocean, the mountains, or the desert. And where she used to live, she'd be swimming in her pool in the backyard, and she could see the snow on the top of the mountains. Uh, she says she doesn't know she could ever leave California, and where she lives is very expensive. Now that does pretty much sum up the lifestyle of the rich and famous in California and pretty much the best reasons out there to actually live there. But obviously that's only the positive side of things and a lot of you had no problem displaying the negative and guys, I'm with you, okay? I've been there a lot. Like I said, six months I've spent in California cumulatively and 
there's a lot of negatives to being in California. Max said that he lived in San Diego for 15 years before moving to Tampa in 2020 and San Diego got less appealing and affordable to live in as the years went by mainly because of high taxes and home prices the only thing he really misses about california is the mountains but he says he loves tampa and it's like the san diego version of florida and i agree with him i think tampa is a great place to live quality of life there is very high it's gotten very expensive in recent years but in 2020 when he moved there it was still pretty affordable so i'm sure uh max got an excellent deal on the place that he has over there. Oh, I miss the mountains too, guys. And I'm gonna be kind of just reacting to some of these things uh, and telling you how I feel about it as well. People have said sometimes, well, oh, you could just move to like North Carolina. They got mountains up there and you can still drive to the beach or whatever. But guys, it's not the same. And the reason why is because of the weather, all right? North Carolina still gets hot and humid in the summertime and they get snow in the winter. So it would be more like living back in the Midwest where I came from than living in California. And to be quite honest with you guys, the number one reason I would want to move there is for the weather among the natural beauty and the mountains and the redwood forests and things like that that I truly enjoy about being over there. And they have the beach as well. So if you live in Marin County, you can still go to several different beaches uh, Stinson Beach was the one that we went to a few times. It's kind of the closest one. And you literally have a little bit of everything there, which I love about it. Now this other comment from Los Santos kind of sums it up pretty well in just a couple sentences. The weather in California is perfect. The natural beauty of the state is amazing. But the cost of living, extreme politics, and crazy indoctrination of kids in public schools likely means I will never move back. So. This is from somebody that used to live there and is much happier now that they don't live there after so long of dealing with these kind of extreme issues, right? So this is a problem for people and they're not afraid to say it. And I'm glad that you guys put these comments down below this poll because it's important for anybody who watches this video to realize that things have gotten so crazy there that it literally pushes people out. And here's another example of that from Ash. Lived in Anaheim for four years, the cost of living, traffic, air pollution, liberal policies, homelessness, and crime made it very unappealing. Now I'm outside of Tampa and it's much more enjoyable. And once again, the common factors we have here are the cost of living, the crime, the homelessness was finally touched on in this comment, and it's disgusting, guys. The amount of homeless that are there, it's just insane. I mean, even if you go to Venice Beach, you see everybody camping out at the beach here. Look where I'm at, look where I live. There's no homeless on the beach here. Now, sometimes you might get a few stragglers here and there, but it's nothing like over there, guys. Same thing with walking down the streets. I can walk down any street here in Miami Beach and it's very clean compared to any city I've ever been to in California. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything in life. And while I'm on this real quick, I want to give another thought that I had. So originally my thought was instead of moving to California, I could just remain a Florida resident and not have to worry about state income taxes especially and have all the freedom of living in Florida, but spend my summers over there in Marin County or anywhere in California I felt like for that year and move around, you know, spend my summers there three, four months out of the year. And while I do love that idea, and I think that would be my first choice over just moving there, I'm pretty sure that would be more expensive than just moving there altogether. Because even with the state income tax and the higher cost of living and the higher my mortgage payment would be, there's other things that even out the cost to where I'm pretty sure it's not gonna cost me an extra 20 or 30 grand a year to live there. I could be wrong, but I don't think that it will because like for example where I live here on the beach one of these oceanfront condos uh, even though the cost for the condo was cheaper than what I'd have to pay for something over there in Marin like I've been looking right now you want a two-bedroom condo over there you're looking at minimum 800,000 for something decent and closer to a million for something much nicer or bigger 
and even though the prices are much higher the HOA fees and the property taxes are lower than here and it almost evens out to what we pay in our mortgage here so that's was that was kind of a surprise so you know cost of living wise I think we could probably swing it but then we also have to be subject to these other problems and honestly guys the biggest thing that scares me is not even the taxes either it's like how the pandemic was handled I don't want to be in a lockdown state you know if something like this were to happen again I saw firsthand how it was handled over there and even though it was more laid back in Marin County than in San Francisco for example it was still nothing like Florida people were still way more paranoid still have the mask police and all this going on and I don't like that okay I like my freedom here in Florida you know the best bet for me would probably be to just spend summers there and leave summer in in Miami because I don't like summer here but I think that's also the more expensive option um, probably I'm at least five years away from being able to do that income wise to where I would be able to bring in enough money to make that a financially viable choice because I don't want to spend all my money on vacation every year first of all you know all my excess income I want to have assets and passive income that pays for that for me so if I were to do something like that I need more time to build up the level of income that would make that a financially viable option right I still don't know what I would do you know that's why I'm making this video because it's kind of like a um, a thought dump for me to tell you guys what I think about it and I want to hear what you guys have to think as well so let me jump back into some more of your comments here so AAZ92 says I have lived in California my whole life my family started moving out a couple of years ago and I love this comment because they're talking about the Bay Area they say the Bay Area is a great place to live until you have kids once that happens you need space and anything half decent will cost you $4,400 upwards to rent forget about buying in spite of having tech jobs we never wanted to pay 1.4 million upwards for a shack we packed our bags and we moved so that brings up a very valid point and obviously they have kids and that was kind of their determining factor to move so right now we don't have any kids and we might never have any kids which could make living in the Bay Area a more viable option for us but then again guys weighing the pros and cons to this is a very tricky thing to do and I really don't know which option would be cheaper or if I would truly be happier living there because I look at my life now and it's fantastic here you know I don't have much to complain about guys that's the reality and I've worked very hard to get to this point and make it that way because obviously I've gone through a ton of struggles to get to the point where I'm at now I'm definitely more afraid to make a big leap like moving somewhere else like that now than I was when I was 20 years old and moved here because there's a giant difference between then and now when I was 20 and I moved to Florida my backup plan is I'm gonna go back home and live in my parents basement like I was before if this doesn't work out now the stakes are much higher and both my wife and I have a lot to lose she has her business to lose um, you know me basically doing YouTube now I don't have much to lose when it comes to that but I wouldn't be doing really any real estate deals anymore because you know I have my license here in Florida sure I could get my license in California too whether I would or not I don't know so we have a lot to lose in terms of turning our whole lives upside down and moving all the way to the other side of the country and then if we're not happy with the decision you know moving back and going backwards so to speak and I've never been one to go backwards in life so that's why that's why this decision would be so hard to make because when I was living in Illinois as a 20 year old the decision to come to Florida was a no-brainer but now as I'm getting older the decision to move over there is a much tougher choice because you consider things like we've been discussing here that you don't necessarily think about when you're 20. there's other comments that give me hope like from Don Whitaker here he says hell yes it is meaning that it's an excellent place to live uh, I just spent 10 days in Phoenix where it's 110 to 115 degrees outside and confirmed that the weather here in San Diego is worth whatever little annoyances there might be 
and there aren't very many to me, I can't think of a single reason I would want to leave. And you know what? Whatever Don just said here is exactly how I felt when I was staying up in Marin uh, last summer because I stayed up there for almost a month, guys. So I just got to stay in that area for quite a long time. I explored the entire area over there. Um, we stayed with friends in their beautiful home in Tiburon, which is very expensive. We probably couldn't afford to live there. But we visited many other surrounding areas like Mill Valley, Sausalito, uh, San Rafael, Corte Madera, all kinds of little towns up there. And it's such a beautiful area and it's so different than being in the city in San Francisco. So much more laid back and like I said, I absolutely just love the weather. So Don says the weather in San Diego is completely worth any little annoyances he has to deal with. So I wonder sometimes if I could put up with those annoyances as well in order to have the perfect weather. Martin Cito says, yes, in Orange County, but it's hanging on by a thread. I've also been to Orange County. I was down there last summer as well. I think that area is definitely quite a bit nicer than up in LA. So you guys definitely have it better up there than they got it in LA, much cleaner, not nearly as crowded. Overall, a nicer place for sure. Dickey says that California is the best place to live in the United States. The question is whether or not it's worth the price. Born and raised in Southern California, and I finally decided to move to Miami last year, and realistically, I keep about 20% of my income by not living there, and virtually impossible to get ahead. Even with a good job, you get killed on taxes and overall cost of living. So I love hearing this comment because it's somebody that moved from basically uh, the LA area, maybe Orange County, I'm not sure where you used to live, Dickey, but somewhere down there, came to Miami and decided you like it better because you're able to save more money. But, you know, I'm not trying to say anything bad, but I just wonder if you're gonna feel the same way in 14 years from now, like me, and dealing with all these long summers and the hurricanes, let's be honest, that's something we haven't even covered yet. And that's another concern as well. Like here in Florida, we have flooding, we have massive hurricanes that can level a town if it hits your town. We have congestion issues like crazy down here in Miami especially. This area is way too small to handle the amount of visitors and newcomers that we have moving into the area. So it's, a, it's getting nuts here guys, like as far as the traffic and trying to go anywhere is a nightmare here. And in California, they have their issues as well. In Marin County, Traffic is not so much of an issue. It's definitely not nearly as bad as it he is here in Miami or if you're going into San Francisco or anything like that. So traffic is pretty calm up there, but you still got to worry about earthquakes. You still got to worry about wildfires. Those are the two big ones. And I've never experienced either one of those and they both sound pretty scary to me. I've already been through a hurricane here. You're kind of giving up a couple of crazy natural disasters for a couple of other crazy natural disasters. So you really can't win when it comes to that one. But Lyle Burlingame says he lives in Yosemite and even with the fires, it's paradise. I'm not sure how that's possible, Lyle, especially when everything is, you know, so smoky, you can't even breathe. I don't know how that's paradise, but I'm glad you put that there just to uh, have your opinion on that. John Doe says that Florida is the last free place to live in America. And God, man, the, the pandemic was really the calling card for that one, wasn't it, John? Because I was so grateful to be a Floridian when I saw the level that other states were locked down when everything here was still humming along as usual after just a few months of being locked down. You know, we did lock down here, but it didn't last that long. And we were the first state to open back up to being business as usual. And I felt so lucky to be a Floridian during this whole thing. And I'm glad that I got to experience what it was like here and what it was like in other states as well since I did a road trip around the entire country because that starts to give you a sense of freedom, you know, how free you really are in certain places. And that's one of my biggest concerns about being in California is that it's no longer a free place to live. And since people that want freedom are leaving, I'm very concerned that in the future, it might be even worse. Although. Nobody knows the future and who knows, maybe people there that are left are getting so tired of the crap 
that they might change it and turn it around to where it is more like Florida one day. Probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon, but it could happen. So I always think that anything could happen. And it's also pretty bad because I saw a couple of comments that people literally said that they came from another country, like in Europe, moved to Southern California, and it was so bad that they ended up moving back because it was just awful with the crime and the homelessness and everything like that. And it's a terrible uh, first impression of America, let me tell you, because if you've never been to the U.S. before and that's the first place you land, it can be like hell on earth in a way that you've never seen before and most of the rest of the country is just not like that. Me put up a very long comment. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll show it to you guys here so you can see what he said. But basically, he seems to think that he lived in California during the golden ages back in the mid 80s when things were still really cool over there and that's probably true and that's before a lot of the major problems started coming into play that California has right now so he probably did get to experience some of the best times of living in California before it turned into what it is now so that's interesting to hear as well and then Alfonso says no, the weather is great, but the politics, taxes, and crime are a damper California resident. It seems like the majority of people that actually live in California that commented these things don't have that much great to say about it. And it seems like for a lot of people that live there, these issues that California has are such a burden that it can take away from the quality of life there. Now, even though that wasn't my experience when I was in California, I was also on vacation. But at the same time, guys, I, I reflect on this all the time when I go for my nighttime walks here on the boardwalk. I think about what my life would be like living there. And it would still be a lot like it was when I was on vacation because I was out making videos just like I am right now. and going for hikes in my free time, visiting the beach on warm days, spending time in the forest on top of the mountains, and I would be doing that all the time. And I'd be going outside even more than I do here because the weather is much more mild. So I do think that my time spent there would be a pretty accurate representation of what life would look like living there. Honestly, even after hearing the poll and reading everybody's comments, I'm still not any closer to being able to decide whether or not uh, moving there would be the right choice for us. Uh, it's something I still need to think about and reflect on. I'm definitely not in a hurry to do it. It's not like, oh my God, I need to move tomorrow or next month. It's nothing like that. You know, I've waited my whole life. I can wait a few more years or maybe never, right? So I'm pretty much at that mindset with it, but I think about this almost daily and it's why I wanted to talk about this. And obviously this video has already been very long and I could go on and on about this topic. There's more things to talk about, but um, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments because I wanna hear from you still. Everything that you guys say, I read and I'm interested to hear. So make sure to put your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and check out my next video on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you over in the next one.